What's up, beautiful people? Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you. You know I do. Girl, girl, girl. Welcome back for another video. It's another video. <laughs> another video. So in this video, I'll be using some rollers. Uh, the OG rollers, okay? The sponge rollers, okay? These boys right here, okay? Um, I've never personally used them, so we're gonna see how this goes. And uh, um, yeah, let me know if you're a part of that sponge roller life. I, I feel like I should have a successful video from this because I do print rods, but you just never know. You never know. So let me know down below, like, did your parents used to use these in your head or do you still use them? Let me know down below, girl, okay? So I did stack up on them. I bought like five different packs. Um, the other ones are right here. And so we started on the old side, which was a flexi rod set. Um, I just haven't done my hair since I did this flexi rod set. And it was on blown out hair because I had to get a trim. Y'all, I finally got my trim. Finally got the trim. And I ended up just doing a flexi rod set to hold me over until the next tutorial. Um, so... That's what we're gonna start off on. And I'm not, cause I don't feel like wetting my hair or anything like that. It's just too much work. And I mean, I gotta send it to dry for forever. So I won't be doing that today. So we're gonna go straight into it. So this is what it looks like beforehand. But today I will want the sun to come out, but not right now. Like not right now. Like I got a good balance right now. You're messing me up. Anyway, so if I go super bright, it's because the sun came out. But yeah, so we're gonna start from right here. It's just a headband, y'all. Me wearing white headbands with makeup does not work. That headband is dirty, okay? It is dirty. It's about to turn tan, okay? So I'll take it off, you know, I use my snappies. <laughs> you already know what I do, okay? Right here. I'm gonna start in the back, of course. Um, but yeah, I didn't know what to use on my hair. So I just opted to do styling foam. So First one I saw was the Maya Organics Brazilian Curly Cocktail Curl Mousse with Babasu Oil. And it's pronounced Maya. Maya, okay? People are still saying this brand name wrong, okay? I'm just gonna brush it out just a little bit. This is a dimming brush. And then I'm gonna just add one pump. Just one. I feel like one should be enough. And then adding the rod. So two strands twist it a little ways down and then just add the rod. Okay, so here we go. So they're not as long as perm rods, so. It's a little bit more work for me to actually secure my ends, which I don't know how I feel about that. So I've decided to just go all the way up because I need this to make sure it stays. Okay, struggling. Hello? Help? <laughs> okay, and then. These are about to be tight in a mug. These is about to be tight. All right, so I would say the main thing that I'm struggling with when it comes to this is the um, the little piece sliding down. It's like, hello, don't do that. So I'm trying to start like all the way at the end and then wrap it. Make sure my ends are secure and then kind of do the windmill and kind of go up. So sometimes that slips in back in the foam, so I have to push it back up and then clamp it. So I feel like the way it's feeling right now and the way the curls are looking, they're gonna be like this tight. And so I'm probably gonna be left with like a curly fro, so I'm gonna see how I can rock it and fluff it out. I just need to make sure I can dry it because that's the sun. Um, because I have to go to church later. I need to make sure I look decent. <laughs> For the front section, uh-huh. Um, every time I always get to this point, 
And so I just split it in half going this way. So I leave that in the back and then I'll just work on the front. And then I always try to split it to see how many I can actually do in the front. So it looks like I can do three. So that's what I'll be doing. And I always just click off the middle one off the Um, so I hope that I'm dry. Um, we'll see. Oh, what side should I be on? Okay. Let's see. These things don't last. Like, are you supposed to like stretch it back out or like wet it? Cause that's smushed. At that point, that's smushed. And honestly, I wasn't even paying attention on how long I was in under the dryer. Like the smart, oh girl, oh, oh, girl, look at that, can you see her? Look at that, y'all, look at that, look at this. Now, of course, I didn't do it on wet hair, so I don't know what wet hair looked like, but so far, so good. It's a little snags here and there. Actually, it's a lot of snags. I got a lot of hair left in here. We'll talk about that later, but I see some hair in here that's a little snagged. That ain't cute. I'm, I am recording. Who was texting me? Thank you. Okay, that was wet. I repeat, that one was wet. See, I got excited, assuming that everything else was fine, but really, this is popping. From what I'm seeing, this is popping. This is the Cream of Nature Pure Argan Oil. 100% Pure Argan Oil. It's just so lightweight. It's just like some good oil to use. So I'm gonna start taking it down. Now this part is still a little wet, but, so that's hanging a little weird, but y'all. So it's a little loosey goosey because it didn't really dry the way, but look at this. This is so cute. Just look how it's sitting. These sponge rollers for a pop and print rod set. Don't tell me. I need to start bringing these out. Cause I will, okay? I will. Let me know if you want me to try it on wet hair, then I'll make sure I do that video. But yeah, this is good. The only negative I will say is that every single piece, I will say that most of the sponge rollers had like pieces of my hair stuck to it. So I don't know how I feel about that. Especially when this was on blown out hair. So it's kind of like, what's gonna happen when it's on wet hair? So we'll see, um, but that's the only negative I had and then so I did do a quick preview on my Instagram stories and somebody asked me did I use in papers and I actually didn't because y'all know how I feel about in papers I'm not playing with them in papers I had a bad experience with it last time so I didn't want to go through that again but do note that I think if I do it on wet hair I'm definitely going to try it with in papers and see how that goes because it snagged too much of my hair I mean you're kind of forced to make it super tight because they're not as long yeah, so they're not as long as a perm rod is. So as you can see, it's that much left. Um, <laughs> so uh, you're kind of limited, especially if you have longer hair. You're really gonna have if you try if you're trying it and you have longer hair than me. 
I don't even want you to waste your time. Just know that's gonna end up being a really super tight curl. But yeah, these was easy to click on sometimes. Um, but like I said too, it's almost like automatically a dent in each and every one of them. So don't know how I feel about that. So I'm like, do people like wet this and just like start over and let them air dry? How do you clean this? I don't know. Let me know down below. I don't like slipping in my edges and stuff, but I don't, I don't need to because this is cute like this. So I don't have to pull it back or nothing. So I'm excited. We'll link right here somewhere, a video of how I maintain my perm rod sets. Um, nighttime routine and how I fix it if it does get messed up. So I have a video for that. You can click it right there if you have any questions, okay? But yeah, let me know down below if you like this video. How did you like it? How did you like the results? What you feeling? What you feeling? Are you gonna try it, okay? Are you open to trying it? Let me know down below, girl. So of course, give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Click it, click it, click it, and then subscribe to the channel, okay? Subscribe, girl, thank you. As always, I thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later. Peace, 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 peace.